Welcome to the Asia Pacific City Summer for 2011, the business of cities. There has never been a more important time for the leaders of governments and that of business to stand up and make a stand and be clear on direction. I was really delighted to see the idea of the business of cities as the organising idea for the conference. This summit is about not only the business of cities, but the fact that cities are run by people and it's an opportunity for you all to uh, join and meet with each other over the next three days, not only to hear the massive speakers that we have, um, but also to be able to meet and learn from each other. I think one of the keys to leadership is always to look to succession planning and uh, that applies equally in governing cities as it does to the business world and um, we've had a, a great team within the Young Professionals Program over these past few days and it's been fantastic that they've been a part of it. We've come to the point, I think, in the urbanisation of the world where leadership and performance of cities has begun to become a science in itself. Everything that can be done to try to encourage new, new forms of clean energy, um, the better. Very much about planning for the future, looking beyond the horizon, looking to the next generation and uh, making sure that uh, you're not leaving them a, a bad legacy. There's other projects that we're looking at piloting. And in fact, IBM in conjunction with uh, Queensland University of Technology, looking with the government, has established and partnered with the Smart Transport Research Center. You know, so I think um, you know, to being good, a good listener of people as a leader in a city is, is incredibly important. And, uh, I think Australia and, and the rest of this region has got a you know, fantastic, fantastic future ahead. A future where resource scarcity becomes quite powerful does not necessarily have to be a dire future. That actually it can just drive a whole lot of opportunity and a whole lot of, in, in, of in, innovation. But also interconnectedness, if I take for instance the example of lighting, how you can think about LED lighting and solar LED, but also hey, how can lighting play a role in influencing mobility? Brisbane, uh, we've uh, branded ourselves as a new world city. Uh, we're dealing with the growth and that's our challenge going forward. And I would suggest that a major problem facing cities is, is how you balance what you can achieve within the city system versus the broader system. Primarily the, yeah, the future is Asia Pacific, uh, you know, GDP growth is going to be 7% in Asia and we have to get to know our neighbours well and, uh, and do business. We look forward to seeing the outcomes of what is an increasingly important summit for all of us. By working in cooperation with each other exchanging ideas and new technologies that emerge, we are going to make a real difference in the region in which we all live.